Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This one will be a big treat, especially for me. Uh, this is Stones Enjoyed by 1225 of 2015. So they want to have you to have this by Christmas Day of 2015. Right on the side here on the back and written in yellow, it says bottled on 1118 of 2015. And I'm reviewing this on the 7th of December. So, uh, that's a little over two weeks old, not quite to three, maybe about three weeks. Uh, the 18th is not next week, it's a week after. So, uh, pretty quick, uh, pretty quick. Uh, the, uh, the beer store got it in on Thursday and I picked it up on Saturday and I'm reviewing it on Monday. So, that's about as quick as uh, it happens uh, for me, especially this coming from California. Now, once the brewery that Stone's uh, putting together in Richmond opens up. Hopefully I'll get these style of beers and the rest of their beers. So this is a little quicker. So hopefully. Got my fingers crossed. So we'll see. Uh, I'm, as you guys know, and I reviewed a, a few, quite a few of these, uh, the ones that do come to Virginia. Some of them don't come to Virginia. And the ones that do, I, I try to get my hands on them. Matter of fact, I picked up a case of the 12 ounce bottles and a case of the 22 ounce bottles, just like I did the last time uh, the bat showed up because uh, I really I love this beer it, it is a hop head lover's delight if you're a hop head you love this beer there's no doubt about it there's no way you cannot love this beer if you're a hop head it is basically off the chain it's a top notch double IPA in my opinion and we're going to see where this one ends up uh, most of the rest of them have been definitely been A beers guys and most of them have hit the 10 mark so I'm expecting nothing less from this and on the top of the bottle this one says devastatingly joyous so in line for the Christmas season evidently uh, a lot of them have dank and, and other words to describe it on the top of the bottle here but this one has joyous and uh, like I said not sure whether they change anything whether they change the the recipe, kind of doubt it, or if they change some of the hops that they use on this, not real sure, or it's the same thing brewed over and over and over again, or, or if they're changing anything else, but they've got it figured out on this particular beer, in my opinion, that it's, uh, uh, don't mess with the good thing because it's, uh, it's working. Uh, and, the, and the biggest kicker on this, this beer has a 37-day shelf life. From the time it's bottled on 11-18, they want you to have it by 12-25. So, uh, approximately 37 days they want you to have this beer. And then they say, brew not to last. I'm not buying that. But uh, this beer is best fresh, like most IPAs and double IPAs are. You want to drink them as fresh as you possibly can, guys. So, uh, no reason to sell your IPAs. So, just don't do it. If, you, if, you, if you're an IPA fan or a hophead, uh, you know that by now. Uh, if you don't sell them, you want them as fresh as freaking possible. So, let's get on with this one. Uh, here, this is a 9.4 percenter like all of them are. And, uh, Rake Beer was listing all the different ones that comes out. But, uh, uh, they stopped doing that back uh, in December of 2013. Because these things come out about every other month. About every other month, these things will come out. Yeah, so, and I try to pick them up every time they do come out. So, uh, not expect, like I said, not expect anything less from this one than I did from the last one. So, let's get on with this one. The food products for this beer is going to be your standard double IPA uh, uh, 
Food pairings, cuisine, barbecue, cheese and peppery, Monterey pepper, jack sharp, blue cheddar, more stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, limb burger, and the meat is game, grilled meat and salmon. Uh, glass for a snifter, tulip oversized wine glass. I got the Simon beer glass today. And according to the ABV, it can be soured, but it is a IPA. So don't do it. Don't sour it. Drink it fresh. Did I say drink it fresh? Drink it as fresh as you possibly can. All right. That's all we need to talk about. It's time. I'm thirsty. I'm drooling. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Nice little hiss. A little bit of smoke out on the top. This is a bomber, so I intend to share. We're kind of aggressive here. We'll generate just a little bit of head on this. All right. Uh, a little bit more than a finger of head on that. Nice and clear, perfectly clear. No cloudiness whatsoever. A nice tangerine amber color. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Great looking beer in the glass. Nice creamy white head. There are some bigger bubbles in the top from that aggressive pour. Great looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Oh. If I could just get a cologne that smelled like that, I would wear it every day. Especially around my nose where I could smell it. Citrusy. There's some little dank, there's some dankness in there. And I describe this all the time. Uh, a little bit of cat pee smell which usually proceeds to a great IPA, a tasting IPA. A lot of people go, and the people especially don't drink IPAs or anything. Can't pee, I don't want to drink that. Oh, God, no. You know what I'm saying. It's got that, it's got that aroma. Very citrusy, very piney, grapefruit, uh, some tropical fruit notes in there, maybe apricots or mango. Wonderful smelling beer. Never disappointing. That smells wonderful, guys. It really, really does. My Probably my favorite double IPA. Cheers. That's awesome. Never lets me down. Each, each one that I get my hands on, I love it more and more each time. And my scale goes to 10, guys. I mean, if I could give this an 11, I probably would. But I love the aroma. It's got everything that a hop lover is going to crave. It's got the pine. It's got the grapefruit. It's got the pineapple. It's got the citrusiness. Uh, it's got a monster hop profile to it. The hop profile is off the chain. What a wonderful aroma this beer has. They have definitely got it figured out on this beer. They really do. That's why they do it every other month. And I am so glad they do. It is awesome. That is delish. That is, I don't think I've ever had a better double IPA, guys. If I have, I, I do not recall it. I don't even know if you could, putting this in bourbon barrels would increase uh, the, the flavor profile on this. It may even deter from it. So, uh, awesome beer. Let me pour her glass, sip on it for a little bit, and come back. But I kind of got a feeling, and you probably do too, where I'm going with this. It's awesome. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this is up. Been sipping on it probably about 45 minutes or so. It's awesome, guys. It, it is. It, it blows my hair back and my socks off every time I have one of these beers. Very citrusy, very piney, grapefruit, pineapple. Nice dankness to the beer. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Excellent lacing and sleeping on the glass. Very citrusy. Alcohol is so well hidden for a 9.4 percenter. Wow. It just doesn't get any better than this, guys. It really doesn't. Final chug. Look at that, how it's coating the glass. It's world class. It's outstanding. 
It's excellent. That's why <laughs> the last two times it became available, I buy a case of the bombers and a case of the 12 ounce because it is so outstanding as uh, my favorite double IPA, no doubt about it, it really is. Uh, I love it. This is a 10, and like I said, if my scale went to 11, I would give this an 11. Uh, it's a 100 for me. Uh, numeric rating is 100. Uh, it's awesome. And uh, this is the first bomber out of the case, so I've got 11 more bombers, and I think I've only had one 12 ounce out of the uh, case of 12, so still got quite a few to enjoy in the month of December. So, don't know if I'll get them all drank by the 25th, but like I said, it won't go bad overnight. Uh, it'll still be good the first of the year. And I've had people say, oh, you still got that? A week after Best Buy or Enjoy Buy? Yes. It's not going to go bad overnight, guys. Now, I wouldn't want to have this beer in June. Uh, <clears throat> it would be a malt bomb, more than likely. But uh, it's going to keep for at least three months. But the fresher, the better. Uh, the more hot profile you're going to get on it, guys. So. Over to uh, Beer Advocate, they say 97 world class. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 100 overall, 100 in the style. I'm more in line with uh, Rate Beer. It is a 100 beer, guys. It's 100, 100, 100. So uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy this beer tremendously, if you can't tell already. Uh, it's an awesome beer. It's probably the only beer that I buy by the case. The only beer that I buy by the case. And I buy a case of the Bombers and a case of the 12 ounces when it does come out because I enjoy it so much. It, uh, it's awesome. So we're going to leave it at that, guys. I'm going to quit harping on it. It's outstanding. It's world class. If you're a hophead and you can get your hands on it, pick it up or you're a fool. All right, we're going to leave it there. If you've had the Enjoy by 12, 25, 2015, I don't think it's any less uh, than any of the rest of them that I've had over the last couple of years. Like I said, every time it comes out, I grab it. So uh, let me know what you think of the uh, the Christmas edition, if you will. Enjoy by 12, 25, 2015. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Make it lucky, get two Tims in a row. You never know. Come on back and see. See you then.